so nervous to film this video. Naturally, I started in my robe. I'll turn it a little this way. Come here, Sissy D. Come here, Harper. You have to be We have too. a family announcement. We do. <sighs> It makes me so, like I'm sweating, because I know I said to myself, I had a specific day I wanted to share. Uh huh. I had a way I wanted to share, and it's just happening so much faster than I thought. We're, We're pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's baby Dot, we're calling Dot. Yeah. him or her Dot. We don't know the gender. This is two weeks ago, actually. I and, had uh, nine weeks, was it? Today, I'm 11 weeks, like so today. today. So every weeks. Sunday, Sunday is actually, no, we found out on a Saturday. Yeah. So Sunday has been like our days that we're always excited about. Cause we're like, ooh, One what's this? Week. What big is a large strawberry today. Today we're as big as a strawberry dot. Pretty exciting. Yeah, so we're Dot's calling- has been getting big fast. Very fast. So when I got the ultrasound at nine weeks, they told me that Dot is big for their age <laughs> or their, their week. Yeah. Um, at that time, they were as big as an olive, so we showed her the app, the ultrasound lady, and she was like, oh, it's a big olive. A large olive. Yeah. Like. We want healthy babies. We want a healthy dot, so. Good heart. Oh, come here, Harpy, come sit in my lap, baby. Kind of some things that have been going on, which is why I'm sharing now. And my plan was to wait until 14 weeks. So really, you can start announcing at 12 weeks, but, and I'm 11. But there's just been so many things that have been happening that I literally can't even hold it in anymore. Sam said some pretty awful morning sickness. It's been a rough morning and night. I have not stopped throwing up. So I don't really sleep. I just wake up and throw up. And it's really hard. It gets like depressing. Like it gets... It makes me feel sad and this whole pregnancy I've been throwing up nonstop and I'm trying to vlog for you guys and trying to come on Insta story and you know still check in because it's this is the hard part this is when nobody knows like that you're pregnant and it's hard to um like keep being like guys I don't feel good and then you're like but why like why are you always sick and it's like oh, I'm pregnant and have the worst morning sickness so I actually just called and made an appointment to get acupuncture done because I read that that could help with morning sickness. And at this point, I'll try anything like the only thing that's been somewhat helping and it's more like a relief than anything is um, essential oils. I have them by my nightstand and I smell them at night and sometimes that helps me to not get up and throw up. Other times it's not enough. Which hopefully will alleviate after the first trimester's over. There's no guarantees of it, but a lot of people, it gets better afterwards. So maybe some of you have noticed she's been getting acupuncture and doing all these things for like an upset stomach and saying she's sick. It's not like sick, she's got morning sickness is what it is. And it's been really tough for her, like sick multiple times a day. Um, My record was puking like five struggle. times a day. And this early on, there's not, a ton of options you know smell peppermint stuff yeah, like that's that. that's why i've been getting really into essential oils so i want to lead up to a few things that are the reason why i'm sharing early so the sickness started december 11th and what day are we at now uh, january 19th, 19th. Yeah. so could you imagine you're throwing up december 11th to january 19th Pretty daily rough. and rough. my mom when she was sick was just sick in the morning like morning sickness me i'm sick all hours of the day at night i wake up in the middle of the night to throw up i wake up at four to throw up like i'm just always throwing up so it takes a toll on you as a person i've been feeling a little bit sad and depressed beat up from it, really. yeah i threw up so much that i currently have a black eye yeah and i insert photos pretty crazy we went to urgent care jared wanted to like call 911 <laughs> he like drove home from work <laughs> It's very noticeable. Yeah, it's I have a little concealer on now. right now, but it's, it's still better bad. now. But it was, I mean, it was like really intense. The picture shows it pretty well. It yeah, that's intense. how it looks right now when I don't have concealer on. And it first started with just like broken blood vessels because um, that happens when you draw. Vomiting yeah. a lot. And it like, you know, like, anyway, there's, you're not supposed to vomit many times a day in a long time. It's been a battle for her. She's been real tough. And 
We're fingers crossed that it's gonna get easier in the next couple of weeks here as we go into the second trimester. And there is medicine, like people will tell me like, isn't there medicine for morning sickness? You can't do anything until First the second trimester, trimester. You can't touch it, yeah. And there's like some controversy over that medicine as well. Exactly. So ideally we'd like her to just feel better. I know, Jared like rubs my feet with peppermint every day and. Give me those feet. It's a little uh, coconut oil and uh, peppermint. I'm like, oh, my stomach feels so good. You're really good about getting me snacks. Apparently, if you eat multiple meals throughout the day, that helps. Little ones. So far, the only thing that has gotten me to stop throwing up for two days, today and yesterday, was acupuncture. I went to this like very well-known acupuncturist for pregnancies and for morning sickness, and he told me I'm either gonna cure it or nothing's gonna change, but there's no 50-50. So 50 far, two days in. No puking. No puking. So that's still nauseous pretty though. great. Yeah. I'm still a little nauseous. So that's that and the black eye are like why I wanted to really tell you guys because it's like if some days I literally can't post because I'm actually throwing up in the bathroom. It's not that I don't want to. It's not that I'm being a baby. It's that I'm literally creating a life. <laughs> yeah. I don't have the tiredness that a lot of people talk about, like that they can't even stay up, that they want to sleep. I just want to stop throwing up. Like I'm under my weight now, I'm under my current weight, and I haven't, I don't look pregnant because I'm sick. Well, yeah, and it's still pretty early. Yeah. She won't be showing for a while, but it is super exciting. We're really, really excited. Yeah. And it is a little bit early. I'm gonna say it's too early to announce. We know, but it's almost there, and we're putting out really good vibes, and I'm hoping all of you do too. Yeah, and then with what happened today, so I had a what I eat in a day plan for you guys. But everything I was saying in the what I eat in a day video, I'm like, I'm having stomach issues, so I'm trying to eat multiple meals throughout the day, and that's what the acupuncture guy told me to try to do. Even urgent care, both medicines, holistic and regular medicine are both saying, eat small. Like, even if you're starving from throwing up, do not finish your whole meal at once. Eat small meals throughout the day. So that's been really hard, because I'm somebody where I'm like, if you put a pizza in front of me, I'm eating the whole slice. Like, who could just eat half? Like, not me. Not me either. Or even a protein bar, she's like, Take little tiny bites, that's little what they were bits, saying. Yeah, at. and drink slowly, and water's been an aversion for her, I so. I throw up water, guys. You, you get like super, like you have to hydrate a lot in your first trimester, because you're like creating all this new blood for the baby, and this and that, all the, like your body's doing all these great changes. So it's really important to hydrate, but water's been one of the main things making her sick. So it's been, it's just been some tough stuff she's been going through, and so, you know. I started eating meat again, that's another yeah. thing I want to share because yeah. of the baby. Yeah. And I'm just not getting the nutrients I need. Mm -hmm. But now I'm having an aversion to me. He, Jared was very supportive about it because totally. it's about the baby now and it's getting the iron what and- What you need in your body and everyone else who thinks they know can just keep their opinions to themselves. <laughs> He's already a papa bear, a protective papa bear. That's it. But I already had an issue with storing iron from plant-based sources, so both doctors told me, my gynecologist told me this, my regular doctor told me this, I'm not somebody that can take a chance being vegan while pregnant, that it's very, imp or being vegetarian, I wasn't, I haven't been vegan in a while, but eggs aren't gonna be enough. Surprisingly, eggs don't gross me out right now though. Yeah, and just like, I think when you're pregnant, you gotta, you gotta listen to your body, you gotta do what feels right for your body. Yeah. And I mean, you know, if that means having meat here and there, if that means having, you know, pie here and there, then it is what it is. Do yeah. you, you're making a baby. That's where we are on it. I feel like I, I maybe because I'm not in the second trimester yet, I haven't had any strange cravings. Like I haven't been excited about something except. You really liked pickles. Pickles, Lots and I, pickles. I read that pickles help with nausea, but not in my case. Now that I've thrown up so many pickles, I don't think I could ever eat a pickle again. <laughs> what else are you eating that's weird? Well, I really want cotton candy ice cream, but I haven't got, we haven't found it. That just sounds delicious. <laughs> that's not weird, that's just yeah. delicious. And like cold when you're so sick, I won't keep saying the word because I don't want to gross anybody out, but I'll just say when you're so sick, yeah. all you want is like slushies and like something cold, like ice cream because your throat is on fire. So a lot of you guys remember when I was in New York and I had that terrible cold and I wasn't posting on YouTube and I didn't do Vlogmas and I was so it's devastated. The very start of this. That's when we found out I was pregnant. So. 
Jared's just excited because we got pregnant on the first try. It's funny because when I was in Aspen, I didn't know I was pregnant then. That's when I started feeling extremely tired and just like not like myself, like something a little bit strange, but I had period cramps. I'm actually gonna say this for another video, early signs of being pregnant. Yeah. But fast forward to today, this morning, I'm editing my what I eat in a day video and it just doesn't feel right. I'm talking about stomach things and I didn't want people to get confused like thinking I had my gut issues again. Yeah. And then the last straw for me was my Instagram, my business Instagram, my jewelry Instagram got deleted today by accident. Instagram thought that they were impersonating me, even though it is me, it's my second Instagram. My and shop Instagram. Shop. Yeah, and I just I just lost it, because I was looking at myself this morning, and I looked dehydrated and sick, because I didn't feel good last night, and then I was looking at my black eye, and then I couldn't check my Instagram DMs on my jewelry Instagram, and I just felt defeated. I was just like, I want to tell everybody what is going on. Like I been saying it to you, I don't want to fight it anymore. I've been saying it every single day to him. I'm like, at nine weeks, I want to tell you guys. I was yeah. like, I can't hide it anymore. Like, I just want the advice. I want the help. I want the support. I lost it today, and I want to be able to go on Instagram and be transparent and just say, like, guys, today's not a good pregnancy day, or like, explain why sometimes I'm not on Instagram story, because I'm that person, like, vlogging on Instagram story. I'm like, hey, this is what I'm doing, making pretty water, doing this, and right now, pretty water sounds disgusting. No water for her right now. I've been drinking sweet tea. That's what I have every day, iced tea. That's why I've been- I'm starting to feel a little nauseous now. That's why I'm, like, hanging like this, so. Crooked. I think it's, yeah, we call it, all right, I'm getting crooked, and then he goes, okay, and he brings me in the bed, and, okay. <laughs> You're a mother now. <laughs> That's our really big secret. We're excited. Say hello to Dot. Can't wait to Hi, find Dot. out Dot's gender. That's Dot. We can't wait. We're super excited. And we got names almost yeah. figured out. Girls, yes. Boys, there's a few we like. Thank you for understanding. A lot of you guys have been patient without even knowing what's going on in my life and just knowing that sometimes I can't post and sometimes I don't feel good and Whew, I feel like a real warrior at this point. A defeated one, but... Still. Yeah. Swinging. She's swinging. Love you. Love you. So, that's it. <laughs> that's our big news. See ya. Bye. Can they tell what that is? Well, in the thumbnail, they can. No, we're not. What does he have in his ear? Crackers. You're such a dad already. <laughs> Look at him sitting so good for it. He never would for me. Kids. <laughs>